I joined NAVAIR back in January 2011 and I worked for a year as a civilian and I enjoyed my time but I still had the desire to join the Navy. So I looked into many active duty commissioning programs and found out about the reserve program to direct commission as an aerospace engineering duty officer. It is extremely meaningful to finally put on the uniform. I was able to go out to the fleet within six months of being commissioned and teach uh, enlisted avionics men how to do their ace checks on helos. After that, I was assigned to uh, P8. I was able to participate in EQ testing as an acoustic operator and to help them test their equipment for submarine tracking as a P-8 flight test engineer. And then once I took a new job, I was able to go back to P-8 in uniform and serve a, as a flight test engineer and help them test. So you can see the inner workings and how we can help each other through the NRP as well as the, your typical civilian nav air career. It is a very synergistic career, being both a reserve act officer and a civilian for nav air. Uh, understanding the fleet and getting to go out and see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and what they need motivated me more within my civilian career here to get them the products they need safely and on time. My NAVAIR experience so far has made me a much better officer because day-to-day -day we're facing very critical decisions and we have very limited staffing and so I'm able to think on my feet and, and quickly utilize the materials I need to get things done and I apply that every day when I'm in uniform as well. Not only is it incredibly meaningful to serve, but it comes with great benefits. You really get to see a different part of an AVAIR. You get to experience all the different business units. You get to see the fleet, you get to see engineering, you get to see logistics. And so you, you broaden your exposure, but you really get to see the impact that NAVAIR has and the good that it's doing for, the, for our country.